Welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show. This week we're taking you down to the farm, but not just any farm, the Green Meadows Petting Farm. And Banks takes on the Scream Cam at Bush Gardens Hollow Scream with hilarious results. Yes. As always, we've got theme park news, travel tips, a new giveaway, and more coming at you. And it's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items. Visit their warehouse here in Winter Garden or online at themeparkconnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Jenny Lynn. So Banks, mm -hmm. this week you were headed out to Busch Gardens for Hallow Scream yeah. and the Scream Cam. So how did it yeah. feel to have the tables turned on you this week and you be the one that half dead people were jumping out at? Well, uh, you'll see later in the show, I d didn't have nearly as enough screams as you did, of course, because <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm used to these stuff, but that still screamed, of course. Oh, it was no. It was a fun experience. And, and it was a bit personal because at least with you, they were just gr grunting and growling at you. With me, they actually were saying my name. It was a bit more of a personal experience, and the voodoo queen actually made a voodoo doll of me, but gave it back to me because I made it through, and the curse is now lifted off of me, I hope. Can I see that? No, not yet, not yet. I, no, I no. might want to borrow that later today. I've been hiding it from Sydney. You think I'm going to give it to you? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was, it was, it was a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you all the screen cam later on in the show. Where, where would... Where would you say that Hallow Scream ranks on the scary scale? You know, with all of the other events going on in Orlando, is it more unnerving than Halloween Horror Nights? Because obviously, Halloween Horror Nights shakes me up a bit. <laughs> I, um, I think Hallow Scream is such an underrated experience. You know, a lot of people are so you know used to Halloween Horror Nights, and I think everyone needs to give Hallow Scream a chance because whereas Halloween Horror Nights really is about visuals with the elaborate sets that they put up, Hallow Scream is about the scares. Like they, I think they have like a lot more characters in those houses and a lot more out on the streets to really drive home that, that scream from you. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds like a frightfully good time. Yep. And maybe by next year I will have worked up the courage to actually go out there to Hallow Scream. But, yeah. um, you know, right now I'm still trying to brave Halloween Horror Nights. I am getting better, but, you know, I have a well, long I'm, way to go. I will help you in this mission because I'm going to have you do the screen cam next year. Now, um, as we... What? Um, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Why? Because, as we've discussed before, I can barely make it through these things with people. I don't think I can do it by myself. And, you know, heaven forbid if they started actually, like, calling my name out, I would possibly have a coronary attack right okay. there well, in the middle well, look, of the look, house. Look, look, look. We've got a year. By the time we're through with you covering Halloween events here in Orlando, you, you'll be a toughest little cookie around, okay? You'll, you'll make it. You'll do this. That sounds just like me, a tough little cookie. Tough and ready to take on Orlando. Oh, ginger snaps. Speaking of, <laughs> we need to let everyone out there know <laughs> what else there is to take on. Yes, right, right, right you are now. We better get to news in the queue then. <laughs> SeaWorld's Halloween Spooktacular begins this weekend and runs every weekend in October from 12 to 8 p.m. The event features trick-or-treating, dancing, and sea-themed arts and crafts. In addition to activities included with the park admission, a separate breakfast experience can also be purchased. The Count's Spooktacular Breakfast Buffet is $24 for adults and $14 for children ages 2 to 9. I am really looking forward to this event this year. Yeah, you're going out this weekend uh, with right. uh, Ellie and Zoe. Ellie and her friend Zoe, yeah. Yeah, and you'll, we'll have that report next week on the I'm show. I'm so excited. Well, right after SeaWorld's Halloween activities in its park, it will take to the streets of New York for Thanksgiving. Their float, 
a sea of surprises will debut in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this year. Sea sculptures such as sea turtles, penguins, sharks, and whales will be prominent on the float with the iconic Shamu taking center stage. The float is in tribute to SeaWorld's 50th celebration while SeaWorld parks themselves are going to commemorate the occasion with a year-long celebration beginning next March. The in-park celebration will include new interactive experiences, shows, animal encounters, and the SeaWorld Surprise Squad, which treats guests to prizes and special experiences daily. Yeah. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Year, Year of a Million, Million Dreams, Dreams. the yeah. Dream Squad. Yeah, that was a very successful campaign for Disney, so much so they actually did it a couple years in a row. Yeah, and I could, I could see this being successful for SeaWorld, getting a lot of uh, annual pass holders out there daily to see if they can get something. Oh, be I in the right place at the right time. Yeah. yeah, hello. Now, SeaWorld isn't the only park to have revealed a little of their plans for next year. Disney has announced what appears to be their 2014 promotional campaign. The campaign, called Show Your Disney Side, should be replacing this year's limited time magic in 2014. Until then, both campaigns will be running simultaneously. The website, DisneySide.com, is already up and ready for online guests to share their photos and videos depicting themselves showing their Disney side. Folks are encouraged to use Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for posting as well with the hashtag Disney side. Disney Parks has also launched a Vine account and is running a contest to win $1,000 or even $10,000 and a trip to Disney World or Disneyland. Post your six second video showing your Disney side and whatever that means to you in the Vine app and tag it with hashtag Disney side contest to enter. Let's talk about this a little bit. Okay. So what does this mean? Does this mean your Disney side while you're in the Disney parks or your Disney side while you're at home? I think, it, like I said, whatever it means to you. Whatever it means to you. Well, that's a big, broad I'm, I'm hoping for some there. fun stuff with, with this campaign. I mean... So we're going to have I'm, people sending in videos of them making, like, Mickey Mouse pancakes on Saturday possibly mornings? Possibly, if that's their Disney side. Or maybe, you know, make up to where one side's normal and the other side has just a bunch of Disney stuff on it. And that's their Disney <laughs> side. Either <laughs> literally, literally or figuratively. <laughs> but I'm really hoping this this is a bit more successful than Limited Time Magic. I'm, I'm, I had high hopes for Limited Time Magic, so but... But they, it just didn't really pan out. I mean, there's still a couple more months left. There have left, been a but few events this year that have been really amazing. Usually, one that's in, you know the ones that involve fireworks or mm -hmm. some kind of very significant party. Obviously, Unleash the Vill Villains was widely successful. But then there's some <coughs> stuff that's just. Then there were a lot yeah. of a lot of weeks that were a little slightly less stuff lackluster. stuff that was already going to happen anyway. But they just decided to say, oh, it's limited time magic. Yeah. 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 It's but you know. I guess you can't have something completely amazing every week, or can you? I don't know. Ah, uh, who knows. Hopefully this will be good. I like the idea that they're involving people and their lifestyles into this. This is going to be huge with, you know, hardcore Disney fans, uh -huh. which we all know a few of those. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that we'll be seeing some familiar faces up online on the site. I'm sure. The Orlando Science Center continues to pull in visitors. This time it's for the second annual Orlando Mini Maker Fair. Mm. The event is being held this Saturday on October 5th. Now the aim of the event is to inspire makers, and by makers we mean do-it-yourself types. Yeah. At the fair, visitors will see creations like the dog-powered robot, in mm -hmm. addition to over 100 one-of-a-kind projects and a variety of hands-on activities. The fair is included with admission to the Science Center. Once again, another, another thing to talk about with that Science Center. They've got a lot of stuff going on. You know, with all that we've been reporting about the Orlando Science Center, I am just continue to be impressed with the things that they turn out. I'm seriously considering buying a pass for my family for next year so we can go all the time regularly. Yeah, there's always something going on every month there. Yes, so. and it, it's always changing. It's always And the new. movies that are always changing there. Yeah, I mean, tons to do, and I, I love that it's so family friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taking you from the heart of downtown Orlando to a place slightly off the beaten path, Legoland Florida has brought back its Halloween celebration Brick or treat. Now, the event happens every Saturday and Sunday and includes many Lego themed spectacles, a scavenger hunt, a dance party, candy collecting, and a costume contest. I went to the event last year. Um, it's 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 really fun to see all the you know the whole park dressed out with Lego Halloween decorations, <laughs> especially Mini Land because they have really fun. Like there's a little Lego graveyard with Lego hands sticking out of a grave, and oh, wow. it's just really fun to see all the kind of hidden Halloween Easter eggs they have. What kind of age group do you feel like this? Uh, event is geared towards? I'd say, you know, 2 to 10. You know, the, the typical demographic for Legoland, Lego it's lovers. definitely, that's the um, demographic for the Halloween party. Okay. It's not, not at least from what I saw, there's no big, there's no scares. It's just, you know, fun for kids to go and get some candy and enjoy the Halloween time. Well, everyone loves candy. <laughs> <laughs> A 
another Hidden Mickey of the Week. Hello! Splash Mountain in the Magic Kingdom. On your float through the mountain, look for a picnic basket up on a small ledge. It's to your left. And you'll spot it just past Br'er Frog, who is sitting on an alligator and fishing with his toe. Near the basket are three red and white striped fishing bobbers in the shape of a classic Hidden Mickey. This one is a classic. Located just 25 minutes from the Walt Disney World Resort, Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their 8,000 square foot warehouse in Winter Garden or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. Now, not only do we like to feature the main attractions here in Orlando, we try to also give you a look at some of the worthwhile but lesser known attractions. Green Meadows Petting Farm is one of those places that many don't know about but absolutely should. Ginny Lynn blazed a trail out to the farm recently to explore its offerings. My daughter Ellie and her friend Zoe accompanied me and we had a fantastic time discovering the zoo-like farm. The girls were ecstatic to be able to not only see but touch so very <laughs> many different animals. And I confess I wasn't quite prepared for the amount of fun that this place provided. Now, it's something everyone should see and that includes you, so look for yourselves. Here's one of Orlando's hidden treasures. Today we brought you out to the farm. We're here in Kissimmee at Green Meadows Petting Farm. They're celebrating their 25th anniversary and we came out for this special occasion. We're looking forward to a great time. I have Ellie, my daughter, with me and her Hello. friend Zoe. Hello. Girls, are you excited? Yes. Yeah, Zoe, yeah. what are you most looking forward to doing today? Seeing the peacock. Oh, that's a good one. What about you, Ellie? Riding the ponies. Well, it looks like we've got a few things we need to take care of. Let's see what kind of trouble my chicks can get into. Linda, this is a really adorable petting farm that we have here. Can you tell us a little bit about what you have to offer? Sure, we have families come out and get a two and a half hour guided tour of the farm. You milk a cow, you do a hay ride, a train ride, pony ride, hands on touching the animals. That's fantastic. Now what um, ages is the petting farm geared towards? Well, it's for all ages. We have adults come that don't have any children, but I would say pre-K up to second grade just loves to go in and catch their own animal. Now, as far as throughout the whole entire year, do you have any special events that you carry out? Yes, we're coming up for our October harvest where each kid gets to come and pick their own pumpkin from our pumpkin patch. And then on the weekends, we have our kid-friendly haunted house you get to walk through. And then we're planning in November, we're doing our first here, our culture event, where we're going to have the American Indians doing hoop dancing and uh, Chinese acrobats doing their tricks. So yeah, we're really looking excited about it. And then, of course, April, you know, Easter time, we do our Easter egg hunt.
Well, that's going to wrap it for today at Green Meadows Petting Farm. Girls, what'd you think? Yeah! Yeah, yeah it, it was, was great. great. It was good, huh? Well, we're out here in Kissimmee. If you all are looking for an attraction that's a little bit off the beaten path with a grassroots feel, this is the place for you. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation. And the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Over in Tampa, the screaming continues with Bush Gardens' Hallow Scream. And much like last year, they treated Banks to a tour of one of their houses while strapping a camera to him. All the reactions were caught on film, and we have it here for you. It'll definitely give you a good view of the haunted house experience. You'll see a little of what is in the house, as well as an up-close and personal look at its effect on a person. Specifically, its effect on you. Yeah. Uh, I confess, after you mocking me last week and calling me a chicken for Halloween Horror Nights, I have really been looking forward to this. Roll the tape. <laughs> All right, so here I am at Bush Gardens in Tampa for their Hallow Scream event. I'm right in front of the Death Water Bayou house, the facade right here, here in the Pontchartrain Parish. Now, I'm getting ready to suit up and go in by myself with the Hallow Scream screen cam. But while I'm getting ready for that, why don't you go take a look at the street experience for Hallow Scream and see what kind of fear you might be experiencing. So Banks, welcome back to Hello Scream. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. I'm very excited for this one. We're thrilled to have you here. Now, I got to tell you, you know, you've you've worn a rig similar to this in the past, right? Yes, yes. Last year with uh, with uh, Blood Asylum. Yes. With Blood Asylum, yeah. Well, this year we're going to send you through another one of our brand new houses. So this is this is something that uh, very few guests, well, actually, no guests yet, have experienced, and uh, you're going to be one of the first. It's called Death Water Bayou. And it uh, features one of the 13, one of our icons. This uh, features the voodoo queen. You'll meet her, her in just a few moments. Okay. She's going to attempt to transform you into one of her uh, undead zombie minions. Ooh. You ready for that? I hope I'm qualified for this. You qualified? You mean like you're not used to being undead or? Uh... I, I, I don't know. We'll see what she thinks. Okay, well, um, any last uh, requests, words, <laughs> um... concerns? Uh, just, you know, no needles on a voodoo doll because I don't like sharp objects. Oh, you're, you're, you're in trouble. Uh-oh. Banks, welcome to Deathwater Bayou. Thank you. Right in here. Let's do this. Welcome, Miss. Oh, they know my name. Ah. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, they know me! Jeez. <laughs> All right, I will. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going. Hey. Oh god! Your destiny takes you this way. They Okay, they know my name. That's freaky. Oh. You got one of these tunnels here. Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. Got this, I got this. Um, okay, not that way. They know my name. Oh, she's coming for you, Bates. She's not happy with you at all, Bates. She's not happy with me. You're not um, safe. No one can save you now, babe. <laughs> Hold on. Where do I go? Okay. This. One. Okay. Oh, that's a wall. Oh, there we go. This is disorienting. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> disorienting. All right. Feels like I'm in a body. This is awesome. Come back, Banks. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I cannot see a thing. Where am I going? Wow! <laughs> Exit sign. <laughs> oh, what in the world is this? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, 
know, it's like a band, it's a funeral procession. Or... <laughs> ah! Okay. Which way? Wait. Do I have to go through? Oh, okay. Um, this is weird. I'm going through a casket. Um, Keep moving, babe. Okay, I'm moving. Join us, babe. They want me to join them. Um, I don't know if I'm. Oh. Hi. Keep moving. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Come here. No thanks. <laughs> Do I, huh? All right, the Voodoo Queen really wants me here, so um. Oh, they're making voodoo dolls in here. All right. Ah! Ah! Got hey, Banks. Hi. You made it. Good job. Come right up here to the center of the room, buddy. Wow. So, uh, what'd you think? Wow. That's, <laughs> that's great. I, I grew up near Louisiana, so that's. I know all these visuals very well. That's very really fun. Disorienting, too. That's great. We love to hear that. Now, you realize this is only about half the house. Right, right. I, I expected that. And I, I can't wait to see the rest. Well, when you come back for Hollow Scream, uh, well, you get a chance to do that. And uh, if you guys want to come to Hollow Scream, of course, go to hollowscream.com. Check us out. And congratulations, Banks. The Voodoo Queen has, oh my uh, God. has offered to give you back your voodoo doll. So you are now in control of your own fate once again. Oh. Looks like she really wanted me, huh? She's circling my face here. And, well, I'm glad to have it back. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> I am the first one to admit to being a pack mule in the parks. When I have my kids with me for a full day out, my backpack is stocked with essentials. But big bags with tons of stuff make it difficult to find those few items that you constantly need. I've learned that lanyards are a great solution for this. You know what I'm talking about, these necklaces that you see a lot of people wearing. You can also get a plastic card holder that attaches to the end. They're perfect for keeping items like park passes, room keys, skip the line passes, photo cards, credit cards, IDs, and cash easily accessible. No more losing precious minutes rummaging around a bottomless pit of a backpack. You'll have everything around your neck and right at your fingertips. Are you heading to Orlando? Don't pay full price for your theme park admission tickets. Undercover Tourist ships the exact same tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Add on your car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park along with other insider tips and planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com and buy your tickets today. Well, as usual, we have our weekly giveaway. Thanks for your YouTube comments. It's so good to hear from everyone out there. Trust that we see each and every comment. And we have our winner for this week. It is Carlos Lembecki, who said, I need to go to Halloween Horror Nights 23. Yes, congratulations, Carlos. The pin collector sets from Theme Park Connection are yours. This week, we're giving you a chance to win this great prize from Theme Park Connection. First off, we got Theme Park Connection t-shirt. And we have a Little Mermaid lamp. It's a really cute mer uh, Ariel in her uh, shell here, and it's yep. very pretty. And it lights up. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yep, and sparkly. Now, to enter, just post a comment below this episode on YouTube. We'll choose one person at random from the comments. Only one comment per person is eligible, and you need to post it by the end of next Tuesday, October 8th, 2013. While well, switching over to our shoutouts for the week, our first one is for Twitter follower It's Only Hope. Hope, thank you for being so patient and waiting for your shout out. We didn't mean for it to take this long. We hope you can forgive us for our tardiness. Hope you can forgive Nice plan words there. That was good. Okay. Next up is YouTube viewer Disnut, who watched me transform into a mermaid at Weegee Watchy. He wanted to know if I had ever heard of Marbella Studios, a place that sells mermaid tails. Well, Disnut, I checked out their merchandise at your request. The tails are stunning. All I need is a bathtub big enough to swim in, and then I will be placing my order. <laughs> just use a pool. The Nesbitt family in Ireland out there is watching us right now, Jenny Lynn. Ooh. Right now. Oh. Always watching. Like Big Brother? Like Roz. Always mm. watching. <laughs> well, you can be a character. <laughs> we need to make sure we say hello as they count down the days to, until their next trip to Orlando next year. Darren, Marie, Kelly, Dylan, and Ethan, we're looking forward to your vacation along with you. John Burton wrote to us a while back wondering where we found all the energy to do the running around that we do. It's natural energy. <laughs> no. John, 
caffeine is our friend. And now you know why they've been putting in so many Starbucks on Disney property. Yeah. But really, thank you so much for the supportive note. It's folks like you and Mike that give us the energy we have to do what we do. We can't overlook Silvio von Leeuwen. Um, Leeuwen. Leeuwen, um, thank you for the correction there. From the Netherlands, who makes regular trips to Orlando and watches our show for tips and news in between. Silvio, we hope you were able to make it to Blue Man Group this uh, last trip here. And I also want to make sure that Connor from West Palm Beach and our new music producer, Tony Longworth, is, gets a shout out as well because Tony is producing new music for us you've heard during the Halloween segments. Yay. Thank you so much, Tony. And wrapping it up for this week is Andrew and Leanne from South Wales who recently got married. Leanne sent us a photo from their wedding which she made Mickey confetti for. It's just a gorgeous shot. Yeah, I love this picture. Leanne, you are a breathtaking bride and I expect that your two week honeymoon out this way will be nothing but fun. I am tipping my proverbial hat to you and your happily ever after. Now finally, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park items. Visit the warehouse here in Winter Garden or online at themeparkconnection.com. We're also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Please let all of our sponsors know that you appreciate them and yep. that we sent you. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget, you can watch the show each and every week on YouTube, iTunes, and Bright House Cable. You can like us on Facebook, and we hope you'll follow us on Twitter as well. Not to be forgotten, there is always attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week, as well as the magazine itself. It's available in print on the Nook and in our app. Our new fall issue is now available. You'll find great stories on the new Transformers ride, Wikiwachi Springs, and a six-page tribute to the Tower of Terror. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Now, not like I want to induce more nightmares on you, even though I really secretly want to and see you screaming more. It's time to end the show. Oh, you're talking about inducing nightmares? Yeah. Well, wow. ha-ha. Uh, where did you get that? Get that, get that oh, back. No, 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 get no, 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 no. I think I'm going to keep this for a little while. Uh, okay, it might um, well, come you know in what? handy. And for a little while, we'll see you all next week on the show here. Um, get out there and have, have fun, fun and give me that no, back. No, no, no. What nope. are you doing? What are you doing? No. Ah! The Sea World Surprise Squad, which treats get He watched to know. Nope, he didn't watch. He wanted. You all should come on out if you're looking for an. Uh, ah! Girls, how'd you like it? Good. I, um, I'm sorry. Hello. Look, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Oh, hi. You're an old lady. <laughs> hey! Look at your old lady wrinkle knees. No, you're an old lady. <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh.